I'm putting together a convincing fire effect to shock the neighborhood. You can assemble this DIY fire effect against any window. I just used a tension rod. I'm also using a white sheet to reflect the light, but we'll get there in a little bit. I think this is gonna look so cool. I saw this online and couldn't wait to try it. Now that the curtain is set, I'm just gonna get everything in place. Now it's time for the magic that makes this illusion come to life. I'm gonna have my fan propped up on some boxes. You can use two by fours, whatever you have laying around. Working on getting my lights positioned here. Got a yellow LED. Let there be light. Just getting my other light into position. This is a red one. Give that authentic fire color. Red light, go. That's pretty much it. Now we have to get everything into place. I like to use LEDs. They won't get hot for this effect. All right, seal everything up. We need a little more slack so that the fan can blow the sheet around. That's how you get the effect. I have all this attached to one power strip so everything goes on and off with one switch. There we go. That's what we want, the wind to give us some movement with the light reflecting, and then from outside at night, it'll look like real fire. For this DIY project, I'm making a fog chiller to produce an extra spooky effect. I have all my supplies. Everything was easy to find at a local hardware store. Tracing a cutout where all the fog is gonna enter the chiller. All right, let's see how I did. That connection on and voila. This side is done, so we have our fog machine. That's gonna pass through our opening, which is gonna go through our chamber. I have this duct to act as our chimney. The fog is gonna pass through this, cascade over all of our ice, and exit the other side. So let's work on that hole. And to wrap things up, I'm gonna insulate the top seal of our fog chiller. This way, none of the fog will escape when we're running our machine. Get creative when you're doing projects like that. See what's around you and see what'll work for the materials you can find. We're all built. I don't have any ice in here yet, but I'm just gonna test for leaks. Fog machine's all warmed up. Ooh. Okay, we got a lot of leaks. Oh, but it's coming out the front. Just how we want. Woo! We're making a fog chiller. So this doesn't happen. I sealed up some leaks with some duct tape. Now it's time for the real thing. I'm gonna add the ice and really test this thing out. Moment of truth. Hit the red button. We got a good seal, not many leaks. So that's what the fog chiller does. Makes the fog a little bit more dense, so it hangs low. We've got smoke, we've got fire. This here is gonna be lit. You won't believe how easy it is to make this DIY candy cauldron. Mwah ha 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 ha. Not scary at all. This comes together so quickly, you just need some logs and an LED light strip for the base. Flick that on. And pick our color. Ooh, that looks good. To finish off our fire base, we just need some tissue paper, cover up those lights, give the illusion of fire. I love that glow. Now for our cauldron, I cut a little hole so I can put our cords through. On the inside of that cauldron, I just have a strip of LED lights. These are so inexpensive and you can find these everywhere. This is gonna give us that creepy glow inside of our cauldron. I like green. We're making a green potion today. This is so genius for the smoke, an oil diffuser. This was like 10 bucks. Mm. And you can fill it with a scent. Some LED lights and oil diffuser are the secret ingredients to this witch's brew. I'm gonna use this cauldron to hand out candy, so let's fill it up. Dare to stick your hand to my cauldron? Ha ha ha, trick or treat. To get a really eerie atmosphere, it's not about doing the most, it's about combining simple elements that work together. Ooh, spooky season is here. The simplest thing you can do is just add lighting. Choose a waterproof LED light, they're color changing and they're gonna be perfect to set any mood. And you can strategically hide them behind other elements. Choose lighting and props that fit a particular theme so that way your entire yard is cohesive. Good work, Mr. Bones. This yard is actually looking pretty good. 
Something as simple as a fog machine or DIY special effects can really bring a wow factor in your neighborhood. It's gonna be talking about your yard. Everybody's gonna to want to trick or treat here. When those trick-or-treaters come by, don't just hand them candy out of a plain old bucket. Do something fun and get creative. Okay, two handfuls. I don't think anybody's home. Thanks for leaving out candy. Nice house. I'm setting up a few speakers to pump in some scary vibes. You hear something? Set an atmosphere with some spooky sound effects or you can make it a party with a Halloween playlist. A portable Bluetooth speaker works perfect for triggering scares from nearby. What was that? Thanks for watching Problem Solved. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.